So WOLF was a uh, multi-sensor randomised uh, control trial which was funded by the National Institute for Health Research which is the research arm of the, the NHS here in the uh, UK and um, it took advantage um, of a change in the system for delivery of care for people with very serious injuries. Um, so about four years ago uh, the major trauma network came into uh, existence and that meant that for the first time in the UK patients were not transported to the nearest hospital to their injury but to the hospital that was best equipped to look after them. And there are 22 major trauma centres now across um, uh, England. So this trial really probably couldn't have actually happened without that clinical network. Um, so the trial was about uh, the treatment of some of the most severe injuries that people can have and these are open fractures. So normally when someone breaks a bone, that's a pretty serious injury anyway, particularly a major bone in the leg. But if the bone stays inside the skin, then the risk of infection is still quite low, even after the surgery. However, if the bone uh, is broken in a way that actually comes through the skin, uh, and that's what we call an open fracture, the risk of wound healing complications, the risk of infection, the risk of disability afterwards is much, much greater. Um, and there's even a substantial risk of people losing their legs of amputation after this injury. So this is a very serious problem for the NHS and of course for, uh, for patients. Um, the thing we were looking at was to try and reduce the uh, rate of infection, improve the wound healing and reduce disability. And this was about the wound dressings that were applied at the end of the surgical excision of the, the wound. So with an open fracture, because of the worry about infection, patients are taken almost immediately to the operating theatre to have their wound washed and cleaned thoroughly, what we call a, a debridement in, in surgical terms or an excision. Um, and at the end of that, um, sometimes we can close the skin over the fracture, which is ideal. But in the most severe injuries, then it's not possible to close the skin, the hole's too big. And so we put a temporary dressing on the top of that uh, wound. And this trial was about patients with the most severe types of open fracture where we couldn't close the wound. And really comparing two types of dressing at the end of the procedure. So traditionally, we put on a, um, a dressing which is non-stick, um, just to cover the wound and seal it from contamination from the outside. But recently there's been technological developments that have led to the development of something called negative pressure wound therapy. And this is a new type of dressing that provides gentle suction on the surface of the, uh, the wound. And this tries to remove bacteria and contamination and reduce any collection of fluid around there as well. And negative pressure wound therapy is very popular with uh, surgeons and with uh, patients actually. And also it, it was in the guidelines for many national bodies about how to treat these really serious injuries. However, there was little information about effectiveness and particularly about the cost because unfortunately, as with much new technology, the new fancy dressings were more expensive than the, the traditional ones. So the trial um, was a randomised trial, which means that patients are allocated to one dressing or another, negative pressure wound therapy or standard dressings, uh, without suction, uh, at the end of the procedure. And half the patients in the study had the negative pressure wound therapy and half had the um, standard dressings. And then we followed everyone up for a year uh, to see how they got on in terms of their self-reported disability, their quality of life and also the rates of deep infection. And what we found was that uh, patients um, in the negative pressure wound therapy group had no reduction in disability in the first year. Uh, there was no difference in the rates of uh, wound complications, particularly deep infection, and nor was there a difference in quality of life. Um, however, because the negative pressure wound therapy dressings were more expensive, it, it's unlikely that they will be cost effective. So essentially, we're spending more money on those dressings without any benefit from the, uh, for the patient. And this is important because although both dressings work well for patients, um, we are very interested in uh, conf really conserving the budget for the NHS because if we spend money on dressings that don't offer an advantage, we can't spend that money elsewhere on other treatments that might benefit the patients um, more. So the result itself will change guidelines, hopefully in the UK certainly and uh, around the world and improve care for patients. Of course we won't stop looking for uh, new treatments that do improve the results and they'll be part of future research projects. But this also had two other big benefits. Um, the first one was that it showed that within the major trauma network in the UK, we can deliver these very complicated trials for patients who've got really severe uh, injuries. Um, by concentrating resources in a smaller number of hospitals, we can also concentrate expertise and research capacity as well in those hospitals, which is hugely effective. So the major trauma network has been a real uh, step change in the way we treat patients, but also a step change in the way we deliver research. And the other final thing that was probably the most important thing we learnt of all is that even patients who've got the most serious injuries and open fractures of the leg are, are 
are very serious injuries of course, but they often are associated with lots of other injuries, so head injuries, chest injuries, abdominal injuries, other fractures. And yet despite having multiple injuries, the patients very clearly wanted to take part in the research. And that's a huge testament to the, the fact that patients are engaged in research and actually um, they're giving up their time and their effort to actually help with this because they think it's important, which is so gratifying for people involved in that, in that area. And they're great, um, uh, are really a testament to people who appreciate the NHS in this uh, country. So that's uh, another fantastic thing which will hopefully facilitate further work in this area in the future.